Hi all, welcome back. In a previous lesson we were looking at one point perspective. This is a drawing technique that's really good if you want to get depth in your pictures. Today we're going to carry on with perspective techniques and we're going to look at something called two point perspective. Again we're going to keep it nice and simple and again we're going to be drawing relatively simple shapes but it's going to give us an idea of a technique that we can use for more complex drawings later. Okay, let's have a go then. First of all, a quick reminder about one point perspective. So one point perspective is the simplest form of perspective and we've covered this in a previous lesson. And you start off with an eye line. That line represents the level that you're looking at something at. And then it's called one point perspective because you have one vanishing point. Now, if I was drawing a simple shape like a, like a box, the box is straight in front of me it's not at an angle, and I'll be able to see the sides of the box going off towards that vanishing point. And then I put the depth of the box in, I just decide where that goes, like that. That line and that line are what's called parallel. They're straight. That line and that line are parallel. But there's my box, and as I said in a previous lesson, you can make it look more three-dimensional by putting shading in. Okay, so that is one point perspective. Now, what we're going to look at today is something a little bit more complicated, and it's called two-point perspective. With two-point perspective, once again, you start off with the eye line. Once again, you don't need to use a ruler. You can if you want to, but it's not necessary. Now, with two-point perspective, as the name suggests, there are two vanishing points, and I'm going to put them either end of the eye line. Now, if I'm drawing a box, I'm going to draw the same box, but I'm looking at it from an angle. It's not straight in front of me. So the first thing I can see is the corner of the box. That represents the corner. I'm going to draw the side of the box in. So one side, the lines, the guidelines, are going to go off to that vanishing point and the other side of the box the guidelines are going to go off to that vanishing point now the depth of the box again I'm the artist so I can decide where the depth is how deep it is is going to be like that the back of the box this one is going to go over there this one is going to go over there and that's, that's your box. Once again, if you want to, you can put some shading in. Now I'm doing this with a felt, felt tip, so you can see it nice and clearly. You can work in felt tip or biro or pencil. It's completely up to you. These lines here, they're no longer needed. If you've worked in pencil, you can rub them out if you want to, but you don't have to. You might want to leave them in so it's nice and clear. This box is below the eye line and because it's below the eye line I can see the top of the box. If I was going to do another box this one is above the eye line there we go you can see the base of the box the bottom of the box because it's above the eye line, so I'm looking up at it. So why don't you have a go at drawing loads of boxes, different places on the page, using two-point perspective. Just keep them as boxes at the moment, we can always look, and we will look, at more complicated images a little bit later. Okay, there you go. Have a go. So there's your drawing exercise for today. Have a go and see how you get on. If you're one of my students, you can now email me your pictures to my school email address. You all have that. 
I think some of you are struggling a bit with the Google Photos album, getting your images on there, so it's probably easier if you just email me and I will respond. If you're not one of my students, um, I've previously said send it through to your own art teachers and I think that'd be a really good idea. I think they would love to see your stuff. But if you do want feedback from me as well, I'm more than happy to do that. And all you have to do is email me your pictures using the email that's in the bio on my YouTube channel. Okay, have fun with it and see how you get on. See you again soon. Bye.